<clears throat> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTubers. This is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. Okay, kind of some theme songs again. Another Jonathan David Brown song. As long as I got the car and it's quiet and nobody's bothered me and it's after midnight and on the night shift again, installed the uh, damper on the stove. Should be ready to go if we can get hinges on it tomorrow. For tomorrow night, it's going to be cold. It's really cold right now, man. It's frosted and going to get down to about... It says 29 degrees. Feels like it. All right, next song, Come Away, My Beloved, from Revelation 18. And if you don't know, if you haven't read my book, please do so. It's on lulu.com, free download, PDF file, How to Get Out of Babylon. It's under several other names, like Wings of an Eagle, uh, New Millennium, Homesteading. I'm just, you know, I, I title it under several different ones, but... Come, How to Get Out of Babylon is the main book, <laughs> the main title that I used. Um, I'm going to read the lyrics and then play the song again. My laws are just, my ways are right, they're all you need to fight the fight. Tear down the walls of Babylon and pay her back. She caused your need, she made you lack. There is no need to rely on your interest-bearing savings account, no need at all. If you trust me in this, I'll heal your land as the blessings begin to mount. Come away, come away, my beloved, away from falling Babylon, the whore that has you bound. Come away, come away right now, away, my beloved, come away, my beloved. What have you sown but seeds of doubt? I hear your cries and shut them out. Tear down the walls of Babylon and let her sink. Washing in my word can rid you of her stink. You have bought insurance in the fear of losing it all. Go ahead and lose it all. Unless you give it up, it only proves that you never heard the call. Whew. Boy, you know, that's... That's my life, you know. I have no insurance. I have no savings. I have no interest-bearing savings account. Have not had a savings account for decades. Um, I've put my hope in the Lord and seeking a kingdom and a city whose builder and maker is God. I believe in a kingdom. I'm not like those who don't believe that there's going to be a coming kingdom because we're already in the kingdom. Yeah, right, with 40 million murdered babies. and Anyway, um, not, this isn't going to be a bit shorter. I'm going to go ahead and play the song.
just a quick another little bit um for those of you who aren't aware uh the song was written in the cd uh sinners in the hands of an angry god it was by jonathan david brown he was a songwriter producer musical genius um heard a lot of stories about him at the memorial service i kind of wanted to ask rachel his wife um you know, just about, he used, he used to call me uh, Uncle Jerry, and I don't know if he meant that I was old enough to be his uncle, or he liked me enough that he considered me an uncle for his kids, so <laughs> I don't know which it was, um, or if he called a lot of people uncle just because it was the way he was, so, um, but he, he produced uh, songs, the first five albums for Petra way back when, and Produced for Glenn Campbell, Twyla Paris, quite a few other Christian musicians. Um, did a lot of things in life. Uh, just more than probably a hundred other people. Theologian, songwriter, producer, like I said. Um, stood for truth. Um, spent time in federal prison, called it his uh, federal sabbatical. Um, contended for the truth of uh, the scriptures and was condemned for that uh, by the same people that uh, condemned me, excommunicated me. We were both excommunicated. I had a very good friend, a couple we knew, that the husband found out that his wife had been committing adultery in their own house multiple times and he pulled he was just stunned just just devastated and he pulled over on the side of the highway and he said called me up and said you're the first person I thought of to call and we talked for quite a while and <clears throat> Jonathan was one of the he was the first person I reached out to as far as um just like you know well, what what would I do you know um he'd been through the same ringer with the same people Songs for People, Norm Farnham. Uh, he prayed imprecatory prayers against them. And I was very leery for a long time about ever allowing my family to attend any of the meetings because I had a file, a long file, of the horrific things that happened to a lot of the people. But anyway, it's all water under the bridge now. Um... But he encouraged me, and, and we talked. Had three really good, long phone calls. And and uh, anyway, he, he was a, a landmark man of God in a lot of ways. And I don't know what else to say. Um, right now, I'm tired and just kind of rethinking things and going back. You know, I just... I didn't know till way after the couple of days after the memorial service that he passed away on my birthday, um, September twenty seventh, two thousand sixteen. Um, anyway, this he's, he's been a he was a good friend and uh, very notable man of God, a great man in Israel, has fallen. And uh, like I said, I kind of wish I had titled my book, Come Away, you know, How to Come Out of Babylon. <laughs> but that's kind of kind of my theme song there, Come, Come Away, My Beloved, along with Insane Babylonians. It all ties into the revelations and the uh, idea of uh, Babylon is going to fall. It is falling. Notice in that song he says, falling Babylon. Not fallen, but falling Babylon. I wrote a poem called Alas Babylon. It's just like prophetic. You know, so many things in it are uh, coming true. You know, I wrote about uh, we learn learned to grow a garden worth more than lifeless gold and our new borders hold. I didn't know there were borders around the Ozark Plateau, but that's been my growing and crystallizing and 
empowering uh, vision of a safe place, a land of Goshen in the middle of the United States, precisely in the middle of the United States, 500 miles from uh, the Appalachians, 500 miles from the Rockies, and those are the, sand, the edges of the Craton. It's right in the middle of the Craton. 500 miles from Mexico, 500 miles from Canada, 500 miles from the Appalachians, 500 miles from the Continental Divide. On the Continental Divide, maybe the West Coast, for all pra practical purposes, the Appalachians may someday be the East Coast. Um, so <clears throat> it's been a growing and crystallizing vision of a place of safety, and that's what I'm about. That's what I'm working on. And... It's a call for people to come away, come out of Babylon. And so that's just, I'll just say that, sign off with that, I think. Um, this is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. You know, reminiscent of, uh, you know, kind of took off on the uh, Terminator lines from John Connor. And this is John Connor. If you're listening to this, you are the, rem the uh, 